So today we're going to do an unboxing video and a little test of this right here. It's part of the U300 series. I've actually used this very setup at the mobile DJ meetup. I used it for my keynote. I actually thought I was using a microphone from the U500 series, but it was this one right here. And what's cool about this one for you mobile DJs is it comes in at around $200. I primarily use a wireless mic like this for a guest microphone. I'm not personally using it much. So something inexpensive where if they drop it, it's not the end of the world is nice. At 200 bucks, yeah, this sounds fine. And it's got the sound quality of the more expensive microphones. However, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles, which quite frankly, I don't even use. I take these things out of the box and I just use them. So for me and for a lot of you out there who aren't, you know, techie with mics, this is probably a pretty cool little setup for you. So, inside the box, what do we have? We have the microphone itself, batteries, and you can use your own batteries, who knows how old these are, but they're batteries, power supply, do you see? You've got this uh, little quarter to quarter cable, if you want to use that, and the microphone receiver itself. We'll take this all out of the packaging and have a closer look. So here's the microphone itself. It's pretty simple as far as the guests are concerned. You've got an on off switch. You turn it on, the green light comes on indicating that it's on. Turn it off, the green light goes off. Now, if this lights up red, it means the batteries are low. You gotta swap them out. By the way, it takes two double A's. So here's the receiver. It's pretty simple. These antennas are attached. You can't take them off or anything, but uh, that's fine for what I want to do. Turn it on right here, and it looks like the, I guess, microphone frequency is on 3. I think you can go 1 through 12, and you can change that via the channel up and down buttons. And there's also an IR sensor on here that you can pair the mic up with and make sure the channel changes. There's a process for that, but I'll never do it. There's a volume knob on here. You turn the volume up and down. And when you turn the actual handheld on, it indicates that. And when you talk into it, as you can see, the signal indicator jumps up and down. Now on the back, it's pretty self-explanatory. You have your DC in, your quarter inch out, and your XLR out. But there is this little button here that I like. This is gonna let you switch between instrument and line. So let's say, for example, that you need an additional microphone on your mixing board, but you don't have an additional microphone input. All you have to do is take a little stylus, push this button in, and it switches you over to line so you can run this into any line input on your mixing board. Okay, so I want to test the unit out before I take it out tomorrow night. Uh, let's go ahead and turn the power on on the receiver. Yep. And turn the microphone transmitter on. Testing. Ooh, it works. So there you go. 200 bucks gets you the U300 for a guest microphone. And yeah, I use it at the meetup. Hopefully I get that video soon. Don's supposed to give me the video from the meetup. And the microphone receiver was quite far away from me. It picked up fine. There was no interference. So yeah, I have no hesitations to use this as a guest microphone tomorrow night. That's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Practice and enjoy.